safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you, Arizona. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what do you say to that? I'm just going to speak from the heart here. What we have witnessed was a total eclipse of the facts. Someone who came out on stage and lied directly to the American people and left things out that he said in an attempt to rewrite history, especially when it comes to Charlottesville. He's unhinged. It's embarrassing. And I don't mean for us, the media, because he went after us, but for the country. This is who we elected president of the United States. A man who is so pit petty that he has to go after people who he deems to be his enemy, like an imaginary friend of a six-year-old. His speech was without thought. It was without reason. It was devoid of facts. It was devoid of wisdom. There was no gravitas. There was no sanity there. He was like a child blaming a sibling on something else. He did it. I didn't do it. He certainly opened up the race wound from Charlottesville. A man clearly wounded by the rational people who are abandoning him in droves, meaning those business people and the people in Washington now who are questioning his fitness for office and whether he is stable. A man backed into a corner, it seems, by circumstances beyond his control and beyond his understanding. That's the truth. If you watch that speech as an American, you had to be thinking, what in the world is going on? This is the person we elected as a president of the United States? This petty? This small? The person who's supposed to pull the country together? Certainly didn't happen there. Let's break it all down now.